What's up guys and gals and welcome to the final episode of Star- No, I'm just messing with you. Welcome to Stardew Valley. You got scared for a second though, didn't you, huh? I know. I got scared saying it. I like this game. This is like one of my relaxing days. This is like one of the few games that I'd be okay just doing like 200 episodes of it and just not even caring. Just keeping it going forever. I'm sure you could get away with it too. It's one of those games that has enough breadth and a lot- Like it's got enough things going on to where you could play a lot of it and it would turn out okay. It's Monday. I wonder if I got any seeds that would grow fast enough. We got seven right there. I bet there's a seed that grows in five days, like yams maybe? I think yams were like four days, or maybe it was bok choy or whatever? Possibly it can grow in three days? We might try to give that a go just so we can get one last harvest in. About to make a bunch of money today, welcome all back to Stardew Valley. It's going to be a lucrative afternoon. These pumpkins sell for a fortune, and while they weren't high quality pumpkins, they're still good enough to where I trust that they'll probably get the job done. I need to go buy a heater from Marnie today, so please, please, please don't let me forget. I'm going to do my best to make that happen the day before anything else goes on. Simultaneously, from here on in, we're probably going to spend a lot more time just hanging out in dungeons trying to get stuff done. I don't think there's a whole lot of things around the farm for us to accomplish. Everything's mostly automated at this point. We don't have to water. We don't have to really do anything. Aside from just hang out and harvest things and then collect our profits. That cow looked like it was laying on its side dead for a second. I was like, no, Moo Moo, no! Why, Moo Moo? Why? I like cows. They're like, I don't know, they're like big, giant, dumb dogs. They're not that dumb, though. They're not as dumb as people make them out to be. They're not as dumb as, like, sheep, for example, which are, like, super dumb. But cows are cool. I like cows. There used to be this place we used to camp when I was a kid called Dillon Beach where they used to have cattle herds out there because it was technically public land. And so there'd be a ton of cattle out there. And so you'd wake up in the morning in your campsite and there'd be just cows standing around. And you'd have the fire going all night because it was kind of a wet, nasty environment where it's definitely not, there's not going to be a forest fire or anything out there. It's all sand and wet grass and just rain all day long. It's very much sort of English weather out there, just kind of drizzly and overcast all the time. Not that I would know. I've never been to England. It might just be a stereotype. Still, very, very soft weather a lot of the time. And so you'd wake up and the cows would be like standing around your campfire because it was warm. Cows are cool. Funny little animals. Where is Marnie? She should be here. Is she closed on Mondays? Strange. I can buy a heater any day of the week, so it's not something that needs to happen right now, but it definitely needs to happen in the next week. Because at that point, I think the cows start getting cold, and so do your chickens if you don't have a heater installed in the room. And so you've got to make sure that the temperature is controlled properly. Otherwise, I don't think... Do they die? There would have to be some kind of penalty for you failing to be a good cow owner. So I assume that maybe they die or something. I don't know. I need to pull a prank on my dad, and I need a yam. I'll keep it a secret. I don't have a yam, unfortunately. I sold off my yams. There might be a couple... In my field somewhere. It takes four days, so yeah, bok choy would work. I don't know how many of these I need, so I'm just going to buy a bunch and we can store them for next season if... If we end up going over the top, I should probably buy the upgraded Gucci backpack too. Gucci, Gucci, Prada, Prada, don't you know you want them? Don't you know you want to want to All that stuff. Why are there like little... I never noticed there's little guys on top of the window right there, like little sea gnomes or something. Like, yar, the sea gnome. Let's see if Marnie's back home yet. It's been about two hours. Maybe this is her day off? I don't think there's a signboard around anywhere, so... I think maybe she's off for the day. Like, Monday might be her Wednesday, but, but since it's her house that she sells her stuff out of... You still have to be able to go in there for, like, the social interactions and little things like that. I don't know. It is taking far longer to clear this field than I expected, by the way. We haven't talked about this at all, but for real. I thought we were going to clear this field in, like, five episodes. And so far, there has been a lot of stuff that needs to be chopped down and just constantly messed with. There's a lot of things out here that require your attention. The stone walls, did they break down eventually, too, just like the wood walls did? I hated that about the wood walls. It's pretty tall grass if a cow can go out and get lost. All oh, those are baby cows, I guess. Those are calves. So they might be a little bit smaller. Got sick calves because we've been working out a lot. Working out in that barn all the time. Chopping this down. But yeah, cows are... I like hugging them because they're big and they're sturdy. I like sturdy animals like horses and stuff that you can be hella rough with and they don't even care. Because they're like so big, they're just like... Meh. It doesn't bother them. 
That's why I prefer to get big dogs, big cats, because I like to play rough. That's like a big part of like me as a human being. Is with my pets, I'm always really rough with them. Love roughhousing with the dog. Be like taking a nap, and then you just be like, ah, battle tackle, and you like take them out from across the room, put them in a headlock, and the dog is like, ah, you will not defeat me, human. Drooling all over the place. That's why I don't like little dogs, because they always end up being like, yep, and then you like hurt them, and then you feel like a douchebag, and you're like, damn it, I'm an asshole. I'm the worst. Big dogs. It's pretty difficult to rough up a big dog during playtime. I'm gonna go ahead and kill off some of these seeds, because I don't want these to grow. Looks like I my plan to keep them on side on my little paddock or my little deck did not work. You got one blackberry inside of here. The bats are not that productive this season. Kind of just hanging out and doing their thing. Oh yeah, I need to plant the bok choy. Go plant the bok choy real fast. A little bit of bok choy right there, and then we need a bunch of bok choy over on this side. I don't even know what bok choy is, but apparently we need it. It's the only thing we haven't grown this season. I haven't been working on any of my collections really lately either. I suppose we could make a dungeon run and just do five more floors in the dungeon to kill a little bit of time. That's never a waste. 51 more right there. A couple more iron bars for later. Probably keep the fruit with me so that I can eat it. Store the seeds. Store the scythe. A watering can, unfortunately, I got no more room for. But once our house gets done with an expansion, we'll have a bit more space to play around with. Nope, do not eat the egg. Throw it inside. No. No. There we go, perfect. Oh, and our honey came back too. Throw that inside of there. We're gonna hold on to the other food. Yeah, let's go to the dungeon for a little bit. I think we can get down to the 100th floor, which is crazy to me to think we've actually been down 100 floors. Time flies when you play this game. It really sincerely does. This game is one of those games that's a severe risk to your college semester. It's one of those games like Terraria that could just wipe out an entire semester for me and just ruin everything. Although World of Warcraft was responsible for ruining more college semesters than anything else for me. I was a big World of Warcraft Addict. I usually played easily eight to ten hours a day. I hardcore raided five days a week. Did all the top tier stuff. Raced with the Koreans. It was fun. I mean, I don't. I don't think I would trade that period of my life for anything because I don't believe in regretting decisions you've made. Like you just treat it like an experience. Whether you made the right choice or the wrong choice, eventually it all came out as like a life experience that you learned from and like went somewhere with. As long as you took something from it in the end, eh. And it's a time period that if I had missed it, it's a time period that doesn't exist anymore. Like, that's what I can't explain enough to people is, like, MMOs are dead nowadays. They're just not the same as they were during that magical World of Warcraft time period. EverQuest. Like, right near the end of EverQuest, the beginning of World of Warcraft was, like, the magical heyday of MMOs. And there's just nothing like it ever again. Like, MMOs nowadays, they don't feel the same to me. Everybody's burned out. Everybody's jaded. Everybody's just like, ugh, MMOs suck now, but they're playing it anyways because they don't know what else to do with their lives. Like, it's just one of those things. I don't want to deal with you guys right now, please. Because you guys deal crazy amounts of damage, and it makes me hurt. And it makes me sting. That's some white algae. That'll actually restore some health, though. At least get rid of one of those hits we just took. Get us back on track. I'm going to try and farm up some more gold while I'm down in here. But yeah, I would say that that period of MMOs is dead. And I don't know if MMOs will ever recover. That's the funny part about it is that... I think MMOs are kind of at that point as a genre where they're ready for a reformation. Like they're waiting for that one game to come along that kind of revitalizes the whole thing, gets people reinterested. And I think games like The Division and games like Destiny are getting closer, but those still lack some intrinsic quality of what made, you know, old school MMOs so addictive. I don't know. Eventually somebody will come along and they'll make one that's so different and so unique that it'll grab a whole bunch of attention. But for right now, the entire industry seems to be stuck in a rut, but as I was saying, yeah, I used to play probably 8-10 hours a day, minimum. I'd stay up all night as much as I could. I mean, I had sleep down to maybe 2 or 3 hours a day during like my really, really heavy heyday of playing World of Warcraft and raiding all day every day. And then I had to stay up late to pick up the slack on like my schoolwork or if I had like a job at the time because I wasn't in college or whatever. To pick up the slack, I'd have to stay up hella late or maybe I was working the night shift so the only way that I could raid was if I stayed up and cut down on my sleep. It was just wild. Oh good, we finally found... My stuff over here, the emeralds, yeah. It's my favorite gemstone right there, that beautiful, beautiful emerald. My lady likes sapphires, but I like emeralds. I like all gemstones, in all honesty. There's something really, really, really impressive about a gem cutter. Just something about the act of cutting a gem into just those perfect geometric shapes and whatnot that's badass. Wish I could learn to do that as a job. That'd be interesting trade work. There's a jeweler in town that my dad knows, but 
I don't know if his hookup would be deep enough for me to ever get a job as an apprentice there. Still, super sick. Always fancied being a jeweler. Did we get stairs here already? I feel like we got stairs here already, but maybe that was the previous floor. Ow. Oh. Was it booby trap rock? That ain't right. We got ourselves a big old bomb. I'm about to play around with this. Yep. Explosives. I <laughs> love explosives. Let's do this thing. Run! Oh, that explosion was so much larger than the previous iteration. Gotta get off screen before it takes you out. You lose a pinky finger or something. There we go. Figure we find our way down eventually. Just a matter of hacking and slashing and hoping you get lucky early on. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Amethyst right there, a little bit of gold over here. Which I always get confused with the topaz, but I think the topazes have little protrusions, like little crystalline protrusions right there. Your inventory is never too full for diamonds. What shenanigans do we have going on here? A little bit more gold to be had. We're coming out of this place like balling. We're coming out with like a ton of gold ore. Gold is worth a stupid amount of money in real life. It's like 1600 an ounce or something like that. Like it's worth an insane amount of money. And we're just walking out with nugs of that stuff. Nugs and nugs and nugs. For video game balancing reasons, I understand why they can't reward us for this. But in real life, we would be loaded right now if we had a gold mine that was this lucrative. And obviously you got to pay somebody to work down in it, but aside from that part... Ooh, we got another one of those decoys. Take him out real fast. He's got a bomb for us. And... Let me get my food lined up, maybe. Get an apple down in me. And then a blackberry down in me. And we'll see if we can farm up a couple more of these. Getting a little low on energy in case you're wondering why I'm ingesting so much food right now. We're low on energy and we're having trouble finding the next floor, so I think we might not make a hundred today. Depends how much I want to rush this out, I think. Nothing there. Not even giving a stone either. That's the really upsetting part. There it is. Alright, so down to the next floor. Break a crate, because sure, why not? Eat a field snack real quick, even though it's made of random inedible stuff I pulled off a tree in my backyard. Always a good decision, as far as life goes. Like, yeah, let's just eat that random shit I pulled off a tree in my backyard. Although there had to be that first guy that didn't know what an apple was. And so essentially the first time somebody ate an apple, that was definitely the decision he made. I'm just gonna eat whatever comes off this tree. Same thing with like sucking down cow's milk. And there's a Calvin and Hobbes strip about that. Just whipped out the nipple and was just like, I'm gonna drink whatever comes out of this. Ew. There had to be that first guy though. Had to be that first guy. It sucks worse for the first guy to figure out like the poisonous stuff. Like he was the first guy to just like ingest cyanide. Just be like, what's gonna happen if I ingest this up? I'm dead. It's instantly taken care of. This is one of those places that you could definitely get bogged down fighting random mobs if you're not careful. I'm gonna blow up this room with a bomb. That's all that I want right now. All that I want is to explode this room with my bombs. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's gonna be on. Got some Jade right there. Don't really want that, though. Got too many awesome things in my inventory. I have plenty of solar essences, so I probably won't carry that around too much. It's gonna be a late one, though. We might not make it home in time. Worth it. I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> awesome. We got some more thermal boots. Two pairs of thermal boots, just in case you want to take those to the Adventurer's Guild and sell them. I'm sure they're worth a little bit of money. Don't really need that stuff in our ladder. Oh, shit. This could seriously hamper my progress. These guys hit really hard, these bats or whatever. I'm gonna try and just run for it. Yeah, it is getting late. Oh, shit. It's gonna be a close one. 
It's gonna be a very, very close one for my character. Where was that ladder at? It was over here somewhere, far enough away. So that's all that I really needed to do right there. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of thin mints. Your maximum energy level has been increased. Oh, that's what a star drop does? Man, I would have bought that other star drop had I known. Oh, man, you guys probably yelled at me in the comments, too. Damn. This is my life. This is my life. Let's walk back home and see if we can't get this taken care of. What did it increase my energy to out of curiosity? 304. I don't know what my energy was before, so... It's probably like 300. It probably gave me like three extra swings of a pickaxe, but it's like over the course of an entire game, eating like seven or eight of those probably gives you enough energy to get like a good extra amount of work done without having to worry about it too much. Let's go to bed and we'll deal with inventory in the morning. She's almost done with our house, so I think we should wake up tomorrow with a bigger house, I think. Level 6 combat. We got the slime egg press and then the oil of garlic. I don't know why I want either of those things, but I'm sure there's a reason why I want either of those things. $4,000 made. Ah, there's our new house. There it is. Looking much, much, much better. So this is the new house. Uh, there's lots of stuff you can store around. Kind of a cool little place. You get a refrigerator now, which you can store food inside your refrigerator. And it's all the storage you could ever pretty much want. I will more than likely rearrange things to be put inside of there, and then there's lots and lots of stuff that I'm going to have to do in between episodes in order to make this all right. So if I miss anything, it's a tough call because there's random events and stuff in this game too, so it's hard to know whether or not I'm going to miss out and screw up if I, if I do things on the side. However, what we can do is we can move stuff like this around, for example, our big-ass teddy bear. I don't think I can move that, and I don't think I can move the bed, but the big-ass teddy bear can go over there. Uh, I'll probably put this over here. There we go. Just kind of stack things around for right now since I haven't decided where it's all going to go. Got room for flower pots on either side of the door, so that'll look good. We'll put the vase over there, just kind of rearrange things a little bit. Make it look a little bit nicer and more manageable. Perfect. Now then, we have rearranging things to do. Let's do that last. On this side, we have lots and lots of things that we can drop down in here. I'm thinking that it might be wise to come back through and maybe get rid of all of our old loot. So if we go over to the Adventurer's Guild and we get rid of like the mallets, and the knives and the boots and all the random things that we've accumulated over the course of our entire gameplay. I think that'll clear out a bunch of space inside this chest. This chest is not in a position where I want it to be right now, but I could move it around a little bit in order to make it work a tad better. Good old cap right there. We could probably get rid of some of these minerals too. Just like vendor them or something. Let's do that. Let's vendor them. So we'll take you, and you, and you, and you. We'll store up some of these other... Oh, our house looks different from the outside, too. It looks a little bit nicer. Good. Making Granddaddy proud. Keeping the house nice and fixed up. And so now it looks like it's time to smelt some more gold. We'll keep that running all day, too. Oh, we got a corn harvest as well. Got a corn... Oh, we got a bunch of shit going on. Wow, I didn't realize how many things were occurring right now. We have jobs to get done, don't we, Nerd Castle? We got all kinds of things to get finished off. Rather be busy than lazy, so let's get to it. Corn harvest appears to be going pretty well so far. A couple of rare corns out of there. This is a pretty pristine corn harvest, all things considered. There's a lot of corn we just pulled up and out. I wasn't expecting to grow that fast. We'll probably get a couple more harvests of other things while we're down here, too. A couple more eggplants. Just mouse over some of these weird grassy things over here. They're not even, like, real fruit-bearing plants. They're just grassy things. And I never know when the grassy things are ready to be harvested because you got to use the scythe on all of them. And so, like, eh, whatever. We'll keep an eye on it. Sell off a couple of you guys. 
That's looking pretty good. Adventurer's Guild, I think, doesn't open until... Is it a new week right now? It is not a new week. Oh, it is a new week. So we should probably track down people and give out gifts as well for the day, just to make sure that we're working on all the stuff that makes people love us. But we got a little bit of time to play around with here, so... I'm just going to pick up things and put them inside of our fridge. That'll free up an extra quest, or I'm sorry, that'll free up an extra space in our, I guess it'll free up an extra chest. And that will be good for us for a number of reasons. Oh, I do have a yam. I could have given that to somebody yesterday. Damn, I didn't realize I had a yam. Now I feel like that's a scam. Answer your question. I know people are like, hey, why are you holding on to all that fruit? Like, why do you have so many things that you're clearly never planning on using? Some of them like the five stack of gold star corn. Some of it's for random tasks and achievements and things you have to do. But largely, it was all here for a juicer or a jammer. I was going to make jam out of all of it and then just never got around to making preserves. I'll probably focus on it pretty heavily over the winter and see if maybe we can pull that out. Got a bunch of eggplants, and I don't know why I'm holding on to so many low-quality eggplants, but I'll probably get rid of those. Because, like, why hold on to it? The star fruit I'll probably get rid of. We got the strange looking bun, the bat wings, the sashimi I've been holding on to, but we'll just sell it for a little bit of cash. Looks like we got our honey all ready to go. Perfect. It's a pretty well stocked fridge right there. It's a pretty well stocked fridge. I'm jealous. My fridge is just mostly takeout containers. It's like 80% takeout containers. There's random stuff laying around. It's not that bad, though. At least I got something to put in my stomach. You can't complain about a good thing. That's what bad people do. Bad people complain about good things. I will go collect some eggs. It's not that late up in the day. It's going to be a day where we probably don't accomplish much, but um, only two eggs to be had here. All right, mayo supply about to be a little bit short. That's all right, though. We've been bribing people with mayo for like a week and a half now, so... A little mayoed out at the moment. My personal mayo clinic has been dispensing all kinds of goodies at people, but... So are these cows growed up yet? I think they are. I might try to milk them. Here, let's try and milk a cow real fast. It looks to me like they're good to go. Allow pregnancy. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> he does a little like jerking off emote. He's like, double jerk offs, twice the power. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. We got milk over here. The milk is a animal byproduct. And I'm pretty sure if we slap it inside these things over here, it will more than likely make us money. Can you milk them as much as you want? Greasy has no milk right now. Okay, so you can't milk them as much as you want. I don't know how long these things take, so we might end up with a big old long line of cheese farmers over here, or at least four of them, so we can farm at the rate that we need to when it comes to the cheese and we can process at the same rate. Or with the milk for right now, I'll sell the extra milk until I know what we're turning around. Perfect. Get rid of the honey. Don't think there's anything else going on on that side, so let's go to town. I'm going to go to the Adventurer's Guild this afternoon and sell off all this extra gear. That'll probably give us a nice little mini payday in the middle of all this. I doubt it's going to be worth more than 40 or 50 bucks a pop. We got like seven items, though, so it might work out. And then I'm going to give away free stuff to everybody else that we see along the way so that we can make friends with everybody. Oh, Haley hit two stars right there. Good. Let's see, old lady, old man, Caroline, I don't think we need her anymore right now, so we'll kind of leave that behind, give that to the mayor, make sure that we're bribing all the proper people, it doesn't matter if everybody else in town hates us, the mayor likes us, we've already won, it's a Tuesday, so Penny's probably teaching school right now, swing on by the schoolhouse and see if we can't wrangle a little bit of love in our way. Some afternoon, a little bit of smooches before we go anywhere else. See, he's after our girl. Hair gel's messing around right now. 
coming around a little too often. Might have to scare them off. Might have to threaten to throw them hands. Be like, hey, hey, man, hey. Little kids appear to be reading by themselves. I don't know, maybe she took a bathroom break or something. Hmm. Yeah, she's not up top. I'm sure we'll see her around, but I'd rather get her now. Save myself the trouble if at all possible. And there's Leia. That don't work. She's not over there. Sometimes she's over here just like sitting around chilling. Nope, not sitting there. Well, damn, I don't know where our lady friend's at. Our lady friend of the future, anyway. She's hiding around here somewhere. What do we want to do with the rest of our day? Should probably go check the cheese processor and make sure that that's not done already. Because it's only been a couple of hours. And if you can process cheese really, really rapidly... What did the cheese machines take? The cheese machines took... Wood, stone, hardwood, and copper. I actually have all those things, so I could expand my supply a little bit more. Without too much trouble to myself. But for now, we'll swing back. We'll see if it's done. Then we'll go back around up to the north. The Adventurer's Guild sell off all this extra crap that's inside of our inventory. And from there, we'll decide what we want to do with the rest of our night. Should be pretty slow. Going to cut this one a little bit long because it landed at a weird spot where... This one might end up being 30, 31 minutes or so. Just because we ended up in a weird spot. Oh, it's already done. Good. Excelente. And what does cheese sell for? It's worth 125 energy. Wow. What an item. It's got to sell for a decent amount then. Let's take it over here and see what we can do. I bet everybody likes it as a present too. You give people like a big old brick of fresh cheese. Enjoy the hell out of it. Cool. Grab our gold bars on the way by. And then we'll take this over to the Adventurer's Guild and we'll get rid of all of our second-hand gear. All of our goodwill gear, we'll give it away to other adventurers so that they can maybe have a chance at contributing and helping us clear the dungeon. I know it won't hype, it won't happen, but... A hero in a fedora has the dream. A hero in a fedora has the dream. If you ain't got dreams, what are you shooting for here? I shoot at my dreams, by the way. I shoot for the stars. And I think that probably has had a negative effect on somebody about one town over. Mm, I got blackberries, Demetrius. You want these? Something extra I can give away to somebody so it doesn't clutter up my inventory any longer. Demetrius likes us with one heart. We're getting there with a lot of people. I mean, half the town still isn't cool with us, but they're like kids and stuff, so I don't care about that. Alright, so we got the silver saber over here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't get rid of the slingshot, so that thing's just permanently stuck in my inventory. A pirate sword. You can buy some pretty nice weapons in here. The Templar's Blade. 22 to 29. Oh, wow, he gets, like, new stock, too. Three defense on the combat boots, the dark boots. Man, we can get all kinds of good things in here. Explosive ammo with the slingshot. That might be kind of fun. Speed. Those are all kind of expensive, though, for what I want. The dark combat boots are definitely tempting, though. I'm going to take those. I'm sure I'll probably just loot them later on somewhere down in the dungeon, but you know what? Not really caring right now. What does our weapon do? It's level 9, and it's 30 to 45. I don't think he has anything that can keep up with that. Come back when you got something to show me, kid. What have we done? We haven't killed enough bats. We haven't killed enough skeletons. Cave insects, we're done. Duggies, we could use a little bit more work. Hmm. Might be, I don't know. I'm not going to do a ton of the monster grind, I don't think, on camera. I probably lean towards doing that off camera just because it's boring, and I think you are going to have to grind some of these monsters. Like, you got to go down to the specific lair that they're in, and you got to kill them there. And so it's not like I'm ever going to come across another skeleton on accident down in the dungeon, you know? Like, they're all up on, like, the 50 to 80 floor. 
Whereas all the golems are on like the 90 to 120 and all that kind of stuff, and so I may have to farm those out later on. It's not a prospect that fills me with joy, but at the same time, I do want to see what Gil unlocks as we get down the path a little bit further with some of our adventurer quests. Oh, those are looking good. Cheese press has been worked. We've taken everything off the vine that needs to be taken off the vine. A little bit of coal in there. A little bit of... Actually, I'll probably just hold on to that from now on. And the watering can is less used to, to me than anything else that I've had in my inventory. So we'll hold on to it like that. Cows. Probably going to need some more hay at some point. But I think I might be able to harvest hay in the winter. I can run a couple more of these things around. But I don't think it's going to be... Something needs to happen right now. That one's cleared out, though. Means I can finally move it around. As far as chests go... That actually seems like an okay spot for it. From now on... You shall be the weird treasure stuff I picked up in the dungeon and also junk drawer chest. Hooray for you. Yay, you get to be my junk drawer. Oh my god. Oh my god! That chest's life has changed forever. I just need to move this over to here. And there's like... There's no delicate way to do it without having to move stuff over. And so I'm just going to do it this way. Hmm, we got the extra painting. We should probably hang that up too. Like put it above the bed or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Nice. That looks good. Look better than I expected, actually. Thought it was going to look jank or something. Nice. And then now the next thing we probably want to focus on is making like two more chests to put in there. Our outdoor chest is probably perfectly fine with where it's at, but I'd like to have a little bit more space to play with. But, so I don't spend an entire day just dicking around, moving chests and stuff around. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. I cannot wait to see you for the next episode. It's been so much fun playing this game with all of you. And I appreciate you all supporting it and continuing to watch it. Bye.